Hello everyone. Welcome to module 5 part 4. In the previous parts we have seen the different process of fabrication, diffusion, rapid thermal processing, ion implantation and chemical vapor deposition. Next we will check the photolithography process. Patterns corresponding to complex circuitry are formed on a wafer using photolithography. First a reticle is generated which is transparent silica plate containing the pattern. So this is a reticle. Opaque regions are made up of UV light absorbing layers such as iron oxide. Over here the opaque regions are made up of UV light absorbing layers. These are iron oxide layers. Reticle contains patterns corresponding to the chip or the die. So they are the patterns corresponding to the chip. This is created by computer controlled electron beam or pattern generator software. A thin layer of electron beam sensitive material called the electron beam resist is placed on the iron oxide covered quartz plate and resist is exposed by the electron beam. The resist is then exposed selectively to the patterns. After the exposure, the resist is developed in a chemical solution. There are two types of photoresist. One is the positive photoresist. The second one is the negative photoresist. So the positive photoresist is the one when if you have a wafer like this. So this is a wafer. And over here we have a wafer. So when the UV light is passed over this, this is the UV light over here which is being exposed to this. So when the UV light passes over this, so it falls directly on this photoresist and the SiO2 layer. So the exposed layer will be soft. So when this is passed, so this is opaque region, the exposed layer will be soft and this exposed soft layer can be etched off. So earlier this entire part will be having the photoresist. So this part can be etched off. Now this is exposed and it becomes soft and this part can be etched off like this. This photoresist can be etched off. So this is called as positive photoresist. The exposed past is soft and it is etched off. So this is positive photoresist. Then you have the negative photoresist. In negative photoresist, so here there will be a wafer. And earlier this will be covered with the photoresist. So this part will be covered with photoresist and SiO2 layer. So uh, when UV rays is for UV rays falls on this layer so this unexposed part which is not exposed to the UV uh, light will be soft so this unexposed part can be etched off like this so unexposed part gets etched off like this so this is called as negative photoresist so we have positive photoresist and then the negative photoresist the reticle which is shown over here can be used repeatedly. For a typical ICs, dozens of reticles are being used. So here you can see in the previous diagrams, we can see many parts it, it is etched off, here it is etched off, then here it is etched off. So such dozens of reticles are being used to etch off the layers. So here you can see this part is etched off. So many uh, reticles are being used for this process. So for, uh, you can see at every step different reticles are being used because the patterns are different. So at some part only this has to be etched, at some part the entire thing has to be etched. So the reticles will change. The silicon wafers are covered with UV light organic material called the photoresist. By dispensing the liquid resist onto the wafer and spinning it rapidly to form the uniform coating on this to form a uniform coating. So this is a schematic diagram of uh, one optical stepper. Here the exposure of the wafer is achieved by die, die by die in a step and repeat system so called as a stepper. UV light shines selectively through this reticle 
on to the single dye location called the wafer after the photo exposure is done the wafer mechanically translates on a precisely controlled xy translation so this is over here it is like a stage or a xy stage so this stage rotates once the uh, uv light is exposed in a particular area this stage or this stand rotates precisely such that a new area can be exposed these tools are sometimes called as mass aligners because of the precise alignment of the patterns on the reticle an advantage of such a stepper projection system is that refocusing and realignment can be done at each die to accommodate slight variation in surface flatness across the wafer this is especially important in printing ultra small line widths over a large wafer surface this is completely uh, automatic after the uv light has been exposed so this moves to a particular location where the next area has to be exposed so this is the diagram of a optical stepper next we'll move on to the etching after the photoresist patterns formed it can be used as a mask to etch the material under underneath as i have already told you so the bottom part can be etched off earlier wet etching was done using hydrofluoric acid this was not good for ultra small features because it etches fast hence plasma based etching is being used most famous one is the reactive iron etching the etch gases such as chlorofluorocarbon are flown into the chamber at a reduced pressure so this is the chamber and over here the chlorofluorocarbon or the etch gases are flown into this chamber the plasma stuck by applying rf voltage across a cathode and a anode so from here rf power supply is being applied to the cathode and the anode high energy electrons collide with the neutral atoms and molecules to create ions and molecular fragments called as radicals the wafer over here is held on a powered rf powered cathode and grounded chamber act as a anode over here you can see this uh, chamber which is grounded acts as a anode and this uh, stand acts as a cathode so rf power is applied to the cathode so this is a schematic diagram of a reactive ion etcher which is being used lately next is the metallization semiconductor devices need to be connected to each other by metallization metal films are generally deposited by physical vapor deposition technique aluminum is recently replaced by resistive copper metallization earlier copper was being used as a connector but now recently aluminum is being used after interconnection metallization is complete protective coat of silicon nitride is deposited using plasma enhanced cvd then individually ic is separated by breaking the wafer so this completes the entire fabrication process with all the steps included thank you